Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it's Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have three really good recipes for you. We have breakfast, lunch, and a dessert, a little bit summer inspired meal prep, Really, really good. Cannot wait to share it with you. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, you'll find my recipe website. That is where all of today's recipes are, as well as nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's get started on meal prep. For my breakfast this week, I'm making French toast muffins. I'm so excited for these. I pulled some turkey bacon out of my freezer. I also have some Applegate Farm chicken maple sausage patties for some protein. You could have this with some eggs. I'm just really excited for these. So let me show you what you'll need. So first you're going to need a low fat milk of your choice. I'm using Fairlife. I always use Fairlife for the extra protein. All purpose flour, brown sugar substitute of your choice, eggs, light butter. I'm using this French bread. It called for just some type of bread, and this I feel like will give it that more French toast vibe. So I'm going to go ahead and opt. So I went ahead and picked that up. Cinnamon, salt. I'm using allulose as my sweetener. This is my go to sweetener. I buy it right off of Amazon. I'll have it linked down below for you. Allulose is naturally derived from figs and raisins, so it's a really good sugar substitute. And it doesn't have any weird aftertaste or cooling effect like some of those other ones. So I'll link it down below. Like I said, to get it right off of Amazon, super affordable. And then you'll need some vanilla extract. To get started on our muffins, I went ahead and cubed up my bread. You want five cups total. To a bowl, we're going to crack in five eggs. One and a half cups of milk. Vanilla extract cinnamon, and then two tablespoons of allulose. And then we're going to mix that together. And then we're going to add in our cubed bread. Mix that in, get it soaking, just like you would if you were making French toast. So we want the bread fully coated in the egg mixture. Then you're going to take your bread mixture, you want about a third of a cup, per muffin cup. I did spray them with nonstick cooking spray. And we're going to add the bread mixture to our muffin pan. We want 12 muffins total. We're going to set the muffins aside, preheat your oven to 350, and then we're going to make the streusel topping. So for the streusel topping in a small bowl, we're adding a quarter cup of brown sugar substitute, quarter cup all-purpose flour, cinnamon, a pinch of salt, then I have a quarter cup of cold light butter, and I'm just going to chop that in to the flour, brown sugar, and cinnamon mixture, and that's going to make the streusel topping. And then we're just going to pop the streusel topping right on top of our muffins. And because we're using light butter, it's going to be a little bit more like a frosting consistency than if we used actual butter. We're going to bake our muffins at 350 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes. We just want to make sure they're baked through. So the French toast muffins are out of the oven. Look at how amazing these look. They smell so good, so cinnamony, sweet. I'm so excited to have these this week. A serving is one muffin, and I will put all of the information here on the screen for you. For my lunch this week, I'm making Thai chicken salad. I'm so excited for this. It's perfect, perfect for summer. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need salt and pepper, garlic powder. It also calls for red pepper chili flakes. I'm omitting that just because I don't want the added spice. Lime juice, fish sauce, Ginger, you can use fresh ginger, dry ginger. I have ginger paste. I'm using ground chicken. You can also use chicken breast, chicken thighs. You'll need some coleslaw mix, a red bell pepper, fresh basil, fresh cilantro, green onions, carrots, cashews, honey, and some type of oil. I just have olive oil. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my chicken cooking with salt, pepper, garlic. And like I said, you can use chicken breast or chicken thigh. I just prefer brown chicken, so we're going to brown this 
completely. My ground chicken is browned and ready to go. And I also did all my vegetables. So my cilantro, I grated three carrots, diced up my red bell pepper, my two stalks of green onions, and my basil. So the first thing we're going to do is make up the salad. I'm going to keep it in a separate bowl. The salad will be separate, the dressing will be separate, and then the chicken mixture will be separate so I can warm that up, top the salad. That way the salad stays nice and crispy. So I'm going to add my entire bag of angel hair coleslaw. Now the recipe calls for cabbage. I just bought coleslaw because it's easier than me having to try to cut up cabbage. I'm going to add in my grated carrot, my bell pepper, green onions and basil, and lastly my cilantro. And then I'm just going to use my hands and just mix everything together until fully combined. So here is the Thai salad. I'm going to pop a lid on this and throw it in the fridge. I'm going to add my cooked chicken to some Tupperware. And like I said, I'm going to keep my chicken separate. That way I can warm it up and then top my salad. For my dressing, I'm just going to mix it up in a mason jar and toss it into the refrigerator. So we need four tablespoons of lime juice. Kind of funny, I'm using a lemon measuring spoon for my lime juice. Three tablespoons of fish sauce. Now I've never had this before. Let me smell it. Oh, it doesn't smell like fish. I was afraid that it was going to give a really fishy taste. You'll have to let me know down below if you've had fish sauce. What does it remind you of taste-wise? Five tablespoons of whatever oil you're using. Again, I would recommend olive oil or avocado oil. One tablespoon of honey. Pro tip, if you do your honey after your oil, it'll slide right out. And then about a tablespoon of ginger. You would also add in your red pepper flakes if you are using those. And then I'm going to pop my lid on and shake it up and we have our dressing for our Thai chicken salad. So here's my lunch. So I have my salad and then we're going to top it with some cashews and the dressing and my chicken. So this makes four servings. So it's quite a big serving of salad about a quarter pound of the chicken, so it's a good amount of protein, a quarter of the dressing, and then it's a total, I believe, of a quarter of a cup of cashews, so about a tablespoon per salad. So I'll go ahead and put all the information here on the screen for you. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making a lightened up version of a lemon bar. I love lemon anything, and lemon bar is, again, the perfect summer dessert. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need light butter, salt, lemon juice, sugar-free maple syrup, Eggs, I only have two whole eggs left. I actually just ordered from the egg lady in my community that has chickens. So I'm gonna substitute egg whites for two of the eggs. All purpose flour, a lemon, almond extract, and then a powder sugar substitute of your choice. So the first thing we're doing for our lemon bars is preheating our oven to 350 degrees, and then we're going to prepare the crust. So I'm going to add one and a half cups of flour to a bowl, about a quarter teaspoon of almond extract, quarter cup of sugar-free maple syrup, a quarter cup of melted cooled light butter, and a pinch of salt. And we're going to stir this together, and again, this is the crust for our lemon bars. So I spray my baking dish with nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to add my crust and then press it into place. So make sure you line the bottom of your baking dish as even as possible. We're going to bake our crust for 15 minutes. While it's in the oven, we'll make the filling. For the filling, go ahead and grab out a small medium bowl. We're going to do 2 thirds cup of lemon juice, half of a cup of sugar-free maple syrup, two tablespoons flour, four eggs, And then I'm going to zest about three quarters of my lemon. I do wanna leave a little zest left on the lemon to top the bars. And then we're going to whisk this really well. You want to make sure that there's no visible egg left in the filling. I just pulled my crust out of the oven, reduced the heat to 325, and you immediately, to the hot crust, want to add your lemon bar filling. And then we're going back into the oven at 325 for 20 to 25 minutes, or until the filling is set. I just pulled out the lemon bars. We're going to let them completely cool, and then we'll dust them with powdered sugar and lemon zest. 
And here are the lemon bars. These look so incredibly delicious. It smells like summer in here. I did go ahead and dust them with a little bit of that powdered sugar and some lemon zest. So I'll put all the information here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes. Don't forget they are all on my recipe website. It is linked at the top of the description box. I'll also have nutrition coaching, get those macros and calories done. And I have one-on-one -on -one coaching to talk with me directly, support, accountability. I'm definitely here to help, as well as links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Monday, here's to a successful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.